Okay, we do it over medium high heat. Just add enough olive oil in the sort of coat the bottom of the pan. So we don't want to fry the onions, we just want them to be translucent. But the reason you want it hot, sizzling like that, is if you put onions or any food in a cold oil, it just soaks up the oil. So you want the oil to be hot so you get that sizzling. A nice effect. All right, spoons. Good enough. All right, so now you just stir it around. Make sure to coat the onions with the oil. And I would say, yeah, we're on medium high heat. So now what you want to do is you these need to go for about five minutes, stir them occasionally until they get translucent. <laughs> so you see these onions are now about five minutes. They're getting nice and translucent. Now it's time to add the quinoa. So this is two cups of quinoa. You want to add it straight in. Stir it around there, get it coated with the oil. Okay, now we're going to add one cup of wine. If this would be cold, it would be one cup in our glass and one cup in the quinoa. But since it's room temperature, we'll have to pop it in the fridge before we drink it. All right, one cup of wine. And now, very important with the Wonder Bag, because you don't have evaporation. So when you're making risotto, just like you would with regular stovetop risotto, you want to evaporate the wine off. So you see it's sort of in there liquidy. We'll bring that to a bubble. This will take, yeah, about three minutes. When that starts to bubble and evaporate off, then we'll move to the next step. Okay, so you can see that most of the wine is now evaporated off. Very little liquid there. So we'll just let that cook down just a tad more. What we're going to do now is add our chicken broth and our mushrooms. So you add about four cups, which is, yeah, this container is 32 ounces. It's one quart. It's nearly a liter. So that should be about four cups. Now with regular risotto, when you do it on the stove top, what you do is you get your broth warm and then you add your broth one cup at a time and you stir and stir until it evaporates and then you add another cup, stir, stir, stir. The Wonder Bag will save you all of that. So we're going to chuck it all in, the broth, the mushrooms. Now we're going to bring this to a boil. Once it starts to boil, we're going to let it boil for a few minutes. Put the lid on it, pop it in the Wonder Bag. So let's get it all nice and mixed here. And I'm not going to measure this, but just for a bit of flavoring the stock, I'm going to add a bit of dried basil. And then once we pull it out, we're going to add the, the good stuff, the fresh bits. All right. Ooh, that is nice. Pretty good. This is some freeze-dried basil. It's not fully dried. It still has a bit of a fresh scent. Smell that. All right, we'll let this come to boil. That'll probably take about five minutes. Um, and then we'll go to the next step. I like to put a towel down in the bottom of the Wonder Bag. And that's only because even though they're washable, it's easier to wash this. So you might get a little spillage, a little... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Crazy girl. <laughs> 
little moisture. So we'll go ahead and put a towel down. And now you see this is bubbling away. Yeah, so now that that's bubbling, we'll just leave the lid on. We'll get all that heat in there. So this has been boiling for about three minutes. So now we'll turn this off. Turn the heat off. Put the entire pot into the Wonder Bag. Lid on. Snuggle it in there like this. Now we let the magic begin. This will now cook in its own heat for the next yeah hour, hour and a half, doesn't really matter. We're going to let it out when we're ready to eat and then we'll stir in the peas and the cheese and the fresh basil. So these are the kind of peas you want. Petite peas. If you want to be fancy, you call them petite bois, which is the French word. But um, hey, so whatever you find. Frozen petite peas, yummy. Use the whole bag. This is what? Uh, 16 ounces, one pound, 453 grams. And that is for two cups of quinoa, two yellow onions, one cup of white wine, four cups of broth, and about 500 grams of mushrooms. I'll write down the recipe for you. Much better. Now the key to frozen peas is we'll go ahead and put them in, some, well, let's actually use a better bowl. This bowl, we can stir them a bit. And I'll just drizzle a tiny bit of olive oil in there. Because everything you put in your food should have some flavor. Do a little bit of olive oil, stir it, mix it around, and then I'll pop it in the microwave for one minute. And then I'll stir it around and let it sit. Because if you try to put it in there for five minutes or two minutes or whatever, you're just going to get shriveled up peas. So we do them a minute at a time until they're ready. So this will go in for one minute. We'll let it stand. Fresh basil is in our food processor. If you don't have a food processor or a blender, you can always chop it yourself. It makes it a bit easier. Very short work. Now we have our very finely diced basil. Now, we're going to measure out a few cups of cheese. Cheese, please. When she was just a girl, she expected... Okay, so time for dinner. This has now been in the Wonder Bag, I think, an hour and a half or something like that. So let's see what we have. So, now look, see that steam that has come off? And when it went in, it was all just liquidy bubbly. Look at that, perfectly cooked quinoa. How brilliant is that? Now we add our cheese. Oops, I'm going to take it out because I do like to keep my Wonder Bag clean. So we'll take it out. We'll add our peas as well. Adding in the peas. Mm -mm. Got some salt. Add some salt. And I'm always afraid to over salt. So we'll just add a little bit and then everyone can just add salt as they like it. To their oh yeah, and the basil. Oh. And that's it. There is your quinoa risotto out of the Wonder Bag. No fuss, no muss.